Oh, oh my god. Oh. Hey guys, William Murphy here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Today is Sunday, it's Father's Day. So this video is gonna go out a little bit later on in the week, but I uh, thought I'd go over and see my dad um, and hopefully make it there. So I'm on the bike. I'm gonna go a similar route to my epic ride and um, it's not going to be far off that, see there? And then I've got the wife coming up with a car to bring me home. So, uh, let's get going. Same step, damn it. Right, try again. Jesus. Front tire just ran out. Bugger. Right. Now, front chain's come off. Oh, it's not going well this ride. The front tire just skids. But. Oh. everywhere let's go this way it's ridiculous oh that stings
Right, okay, so I am home again. Um, that was a really enjoyable ride. It's about 15 miles, so I'm really, really pleased that I can manage to do that as well. Um, the bike stood up to the test. I did happen to come off once, um, but it seems to be the norm for me going out on a bike ride, especially when I'm going off-road. I seem to fall off at least once every time I'm out. So, um, over the bars, into a bush. Um, I do feel like a quite a big crash is going to be coming because uh, every time I go out I seem to land awkwardly well I actually land on my feet but I, I kind of run it out but I'm over the bars and I think at some point I'm gonna go and gonna get caught out but touch wood uh, yeah there we go. touch wood nothing's happened so far so the bike performed really well the seat post dropper is the, the problem has resolved which is great put a new cable on there um, and that's working fantastic. The the bike itself just just it's just great. I love it. I really really love it. The ride I went from my house uh, to Gwinnesco viewpoint. Went down the hill for Gwinnesco is where I fell off, uh, and then from Prestatin uh, through Prestatin through Real, and then to Kimmel Bay where my parents live. So um, that was quite uh, fun. It was into winds. So that's the first time I've ever ridden into a really strong headwind. All the bikes coming towards me were flying, but me really struggled. Um, and then just the other thing, the amount of people I've seen, there were so, so many people out and about just walking, ambling about. The social distancing seems to have just gone out the window for a lot of people. Um, it's a bit crazy, really, really crazy. But I kind of kept my lines I wanted to keep to. I wanted to keep my distance from everybody, and I think I did that really well. So... Um, Another ride done, 15 miles, so my stamina is getting up every time. Uh, what I have said I want to do for probably 2021 is to build up towards an event um, so I can enter something and actually walk away feeling pretty proud about it. So that's what I'm, my goal is going to be, to try and enter something in 2021. 2020 seems to just be a complete washout, so uh, no luck for there. But anyway... I'll leave it here. This has been another amazing ride on my bike. I absolutely love this thing. And uh, if you have enjoyed the content, as always, please hit that thumbs up button. Comment down below. And if you can, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I've got loads of stuff coming up. Uh, I want to get some more bike stuff coming out there. I've got some stuff to do on uh, my brown mini. I've got a restoration to do on the black mini. I've got some other jobs and stuff in the pipeline as well. So, uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button. And... Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.